Talk about the matchup here, Dana, with with Jardine's position with Rashad. I mean, it's almost like a, a fight that goes nowhere. Most of the fights you have sort of go no. somewhere, but this, this fight will. Mean, listen, Rashad and, and, and Keith saying they won't fight each other. La 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 la. I don't listen to them. I don't hear that shit. They're gonna fight each other. This isn't fucking baseball. You're not on a team. You've got training partners that you train with. I just said to the guy earlier. Listen. Larry Holmes was Muhammad Ali's sparring partner for years. Um, and the list goes on and on. Many friends in boxing, like guys who kids grew up together, they have dinner together every Sunday, have fought each other. It's not about I hate you and, and I want to you know kick your ass. It's about we're two professional athletes and we want to find out who the best in the world is. I've been given that, why would not Jardine? If Jardine would knock out Rampage, it's the guy that knocked out Liddell, beat Rampage, why wouldn't he get the next shot then if, if, if that you know, logic exactly. applies? Because that logic does apply, and, and, and if he doesn't, Lyoto will get the shot, and Jardine is in the mix. I'd like to see Jardine win one more fight mm -hmm. if he beats. You know, Rampage had to win two fights, and, and he lost his title in a close fight against... Uh, but yeah, he'll be in the mix. Mm -hmm. He beats Rampage, he's in the mix. Right. And then there's obviously your friends on the internet. There's a very vocal that group that are fans of Machida that say Machida's getting screwed and, and that he's you know 14 and 0 and beaten whoever he's beaten. You know, what's your reaction to he, that? Why he wasn't being the he is no matter what he is he is in line. But I, I I don't give a fuck what they say. Rampage deserves this. If he knocked out Vanderlei the way he did, lost it, lost the decision. You know, in a close fight that some people think he won and some people think he lost uh, has. Two big wins, back to back again. He deserves the first title shot. If he do, if he doesn't win, I absolutely agree. Leota Machito deserves the shot. The the I know the bookies don't mean much, but they've got Jackson as like a three and a half to one favorite or something in this. Yeah, fight. and I can't remember what they had uh, Liddell against Jardine. You know what I mean? Jardine is a tough, durable guy. He's very unorthodox, and his style is pretty much the style that Forrest beat Rampage with. He's very good at uh, kicks to the leg and kicks to the body. I'll tell you what, Chuck Liddell's been one of my friends for 12 or 13 years. I've been to fights with him all over the world. I've never seen his body look like it looked after the Keith Jardine fight. I don't think you guys saw it because he was back in the locker room. His whole body, from under his armpit mm. to down here to below the legs, he was covered in bruises, man. Jardine can kick, and uh, Rampage is susceptible to the leg kick and body kick. Just out of curiosity, the 195, uh, how'd you come up with that weight for Franklin and uh, Silva? Because I, I met Rich in the middle. Rich didn't want to cut weight. He didn't want to go back to uh, uh, 85, and uh, Vanderlei hasn't been to 85 yet. So, so I think it's a fun down. fight, and, and it'll be a fun fight to watch. So if Rich wins that fight, where is that? He'll stay at 205. At 205 so He'll stay at 205. That'll look good on him yeah. at 205. Yeah. How difficult, get, you didn't get Couture on that card. I mean, did you work on that, or was the movie just too much that, you know, Yeah. he would have been big well, on that card. Well, he's ready to not? fight. He's ready to fight. He wants to fight. Um, you know, he had a problem that he didn't want to be public, um, that, he, that he had to take care of. And uh, that's why he's he's been on the bench for so long. But uh, he wants to fight now. He's ready to go. And uh, I want to do him and Nog. And uh, Nog's still a little busted up, too. You know, he had some neck problems and some other problems. He had staff real bad. So Staff Every, after the uh, December fight or before that? Before that. Before the fight, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Couture would have been a natural for Germany, though. Yeah, I think, I think Nog had staff real bad like six days before that fight. Wow. So was there, was he close to being yeah, pulled out of the fight? A little, yeah. Did you? I, no, I don't, nobody noticed this. I saw it up there, but he had like these things all over his body, like these. Uh, I, can't, I can't explain what they look like. They look like. Uh, Staff puts a hole in it. Yeah. yeah, but this was something else he had too, all over his body. Hmm. He was he was a little beat up. He has some neck problems, so we're waiting for him to heal up and get better. And it's actually working well with where Couture was at, so we want to do not in Couture. So we'll see what happens. And then what, what about uh, Barack with uh, the prime time? Have you made any progress in getting that done? Because uh, then you say you wanted to do a prime time for that fight. Yeah, I, you know what? It's going to depend on. I got to see what happens this weekend. If, if this weekend, uh, if this weekend it ends up being. Rampage and Rashad, I'll probably do prime time on that fight.